How many of us have seen the Barbie movie? All right, so the, for the five of you who haven't, <laughs> there's a moment in the Barbie movie. And it is, in my opinion, the most powerful moment in the movie. And whatever you think of the movie, hopefully we can agree on this point. In the movie, Barbie has traveled outside of Barbie land. And by the way, this is really slippery. So in the movie, Barbie has traveled outside of Barbie land. And she's gone to the real world. And when she gets to the real world, she is sitting on a park bench. And she looks to the side and she sees an elderly woman who looks like an elderly woman with wrinkled face. And Barbie simply says to the woman, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Yeah. And the woman says, I know. I know. <laughs> and that moment is so incredibly powerful. One of the reasons I think that it's so powerful is that it reminds me of why and how Hell on Heels got started. And so for those of you who are new to our lovely Lady Lawyers group, let me tell you that story. Seven years ago, in a group on Facebook called Texas Family Lawyers, there were times when our Lady Lawyers were getting put aside, put down, or even aggressed in conversation. And a woman started tagging hashtag hell on heels. And it became almost a beacon to us to support our fellow lady lawyers whenever they were being possibly mistreated. So in the Facebook group, whenever there was a hashtag hell on heels, many of us would mobilize and respond with love and support and positivity for our other fellow women lawyers. And as that continued, we were coming upon the month of August. And that year, I reached out to Christina Hallworth, who I had never met in person, at that point, and Tracy, who I had never met in person, and said, would y'all like to join me for lunch? And then we decided to put it out there and invite other lady lawyers, hashtag hell on heels. And at that initial lunch, we had 40 women join us for lunch. And at that lunch, was is there anybody here that was at that original lunch? Karen Marvel, yes ma'am, Cindy, of course. So at the original lunch, we decided, why not start our own Facebook group, which we did. And so with 40 members, we started our own Facebook group, and we've now, seven years later, grown to 1,600 Lady Lawyer members. <laughs> For those of you who are not members and are gentlemen supporters, mm -hmm. our purpose and our mission is simple. Our purpose and our mission is to be a place of love and support and positivity for each other, for our fellow women lawyers. Because sometimes the real world, as Barbie would put it, is not a fun, loving, nice, positive, supportive place for us, especially in our profession. So for those of you out there who are not members of our Facebook group and who support our mission of love and positivity and support for each other, Fellow female lawyers, please friend us on Facebook and please ask some of our other members who are members of the group to, to add you to our group. We do not talk cases in our group. That is our one of our only restrictions. We are positive, not negative, and we don't talk cases. Because in our group, unlike many of the other lawyer groups on Facebook, 
We have many judges who are members, and we love our members who are judges. And if we talk cases, it makes them uncomfortable. And they leave us. So we want them to be members, and we want to provide a place of positivity and love and support for our judges as well. So if you are not a member, please join us. We would love to have everybody uh, support us in our desire to fight, to continue to provide that place of positivity and support. Now the other reason that I love that one scene in the Barbie movie is because of its simplicity and its beauty. It's just a simple moment, but it's so powerful. I mean, how many of us in that moment, on that park bench, when a beautiful young woman looks at you and says, you are beautiful, how many of us would have responded the way that the woman did? Or, instead, would we have disagreed with her? With her? Oh, no, I'm not. Or would we have simply said thank you and in our own head thought she was crazy? Or would we have said, no, ma'am, you're the one that's beautiful. But instead, the woman simply said, I know. So how can we, each of us, in that moment when somebody acknowledges your beauty, how can we believe them? How can each of us be in a place where we would respond with the confidence to just simply acknowledge our own beauty. You know, positive thoughts are a muscle. Positive thoughts in our brains are kind of like train tracks. They have to be built and they have to be nourished. And I guess the technical word for that is the neurosynapsis or something like that. But it's like a muscle and it's like exercise. You have to work at it. Because after all, in our profession particularly, and those of you that heard Denise Garcia, Justice Garcia speak this morning, she actually talked about this. In our profession particularly, every single day we are confronted with the negative aspects of society. We are confronted with negativity from our clients, from opposing parties, from opposing counsel, even some judges, and from society in general. I mean, after all, who among us hasn't heard a lawyer joke? So I'm going to leave we, you with five ways that I think you can exercise your positivity muscle and therefore, hopefully, someday, whenever confronted with that beautiful, young, blonde woman who acknowledges your beauty, you can respond like Barbie and say, I know. One of those ways, if you don't believe in your own beauty, is to talk to somebody else who knows you, who sees you, and try to see yourself the way that they do. And that's one of the things that we try to do in Hell on Heels. Look, if you don't think you're beautiful, go in Hell on Heels and ask. And then when somebody tells you how beautiful you are, believe them. Believe them. Believe them instead of the negative message that's in your head. Second way, make a list of your own positive qualities. Now lawyers, ladies, this is not a pro and con list, okay? Reserve that for another list. Make a list of your own positive qualities. And then read them to yourself. Post them on the mirror in your bathroom if you have to. But tell yourself, give yourself those compliments. Tell yourself what you're good at. Third, have we all heard of a gratitude journal? So many people advise you to do a gratitude journal. And in a gratitude journal, the idea is to write down three things every day that you're grateful for. 
Well, my twist on that would be to start a gratitude journal to yourself. Write down every day three things about yourself that are positive qualities. Compliment yourself three ways every day in your journal and make that a habit. And then someday, even if you don't believe it today when you write it down, maybe someday you will believe in that. Now the fourth tip I have, I can't take credit for. The fourth tip I'm gonna give you, I have to give credit to my partner, my law partner, Michael Wysocki. Because also seven years ago, Michael and I started our firm. And in one of our initial conversations when we were starting our firm, I expressed some self-doubt in that conversation. And in a very Michael Wysocki sort of way, he slammed his hand on the table and he said, here's what I want you to do. I want you to look yourself in the mirror every morning and tell yourself who the mm you are. <laughs> now I'll say it a different way, ladies. I want you, when you get up every morning, to give yourself a pep talk in the mirror. And if you have to have your list of your positive qualities, not your pro and con list, your list of your positive qualities taped right there on the mirror so you have some cheat sheet notes, kind of like when you're speaking up on a stage and you have your pink Barbie notes in front of you, then do that. But every morning, I want you to look yourself in the mirror, and very important, I want you to smile at yourself. I don't want you to look at yourself and criticize your wrinkles and your gray hairs and your need to go to the hairdresser or maybe your desire for Botox. I want you to look at yourself as you are. And I want you to tell yourself who the mm you are until you believe it. And my fifth point is that I want you to know that life is not a competition with each other. Very important. Very important. That is a myth that society tells us, ladies. I am not in competition with any of you. And none of you are in competition with me. Every single day, we are in competition with one person, and that is the person that we were yesterday. And so what I want you to do is every day, I want you to be better today than you were yesterday. And tomorrow, I want you to strive to be better tomorrow than you were today. Because after all, that is all that we can do. And then someday, someday, hopefully someday, whenever somebody says to you, you are beautiful, then you can respond like the lady in the Barbie movie with all of the confidence to say simply, I know and believe it.